All right, as you can see, I have drawn a square on my fabric. It's an eight inch square, but I only drew it because it's, this is not a quilt. It's just a solid piece of fabric and I'd like to have a, a nice straight square. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to use my ruler. This is my straight edge. Now, I will tell you this much. With the ANOVA, I don't need a ruler, but not everybody can draw straight lines with their machine. So now I'm gonna stop here. So you can see I'm at the corner. I'm gonna turn my ruler and put it in front. Sometimes you can put your ruler behind your ruler foot, but I don't like to do that. It's very awkward and I'm always afraid something is gonna go wrong. So let me move my other templates here, my other rulers. I'm gonna line it right back up. Now, if you can see my ruler foot right here, there's an open toe here. I actually had my husband uh, drill that out for me because I could not see very well. So, you know, it's part of aging. All right, so we're gonna go to the other side. Now, when you're using your rulers, you gently hold them in place. You do not have a death grip at all. If you have a death grip, number one, you're gonna ruin your fingers, you're gonna hurt your wrist, and you're not gonna be able to sew. And see, you, you can just stop your machine and move everything. Now, I don't need to turn my machine off. I could just go straight up that line. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to sew just like this. I'm going to put that ruler back on there. I'm going to go straight up there. And I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to move my ruler. And if you need to turn your machine off to do this, then please do. Now, with my open toe, I can see right where I need to stop. Put it right back here. Just lean forward just a little bit so I can see. There we go. And I'm going to come back over here. There we go. Move it forward a little bit. And there you go. Now, if I wanted to, I could go and I'm going to move these, I'm going to get these threads out of here. I'm going to clip those. I could bring it out a quarter of an inch. And I can echo my box. Very easy. Do not use a death grip on your rulers. And I went a quarter inch again. And the reason I know I'm a quarter inch is because my needle's in the center of my foot. And you could go and measure it, and you would use your ruler like this. You would line it up on your previous stitch line. See, I'm going to move it over just right there. And then I would go over. Now, this is where it's a little tricky. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my left hand, but I come on the side right here. And I'm looking through, holding in place. I'm going to readjust. There we go. There. How cool is that? Okay. Now, there we go. That's it.